Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. So, we created our first Cypress project in last video. Now, the project is available on GitHub at this particular link. So, open the link, you can download the code, and you got to do one thing in your terminal, you have to type the command npm i and hit enter. That way, any dependencies that I have would get downloaded from npm for you because I have decided not to export the node modules because then it would be faster for you to download and faster for me as well to upload the changes that I'm going to make in this series. Okay, so when we installed Cypress in our last video, the Cypress folder was added automatically and Inside this Cypress folder, we have got these four important folders fixtures, integration, plugins, and support. We can definitely change the location of these folders, but if you are a beginner, I recommend you use the default folder structure offered by Cypress. On a side note, open the test runner, go to settings, open configuration, and herein, you would find fixtures folder here is the path integration folder here is the path plugins here is the path and then for support file so you can change it and accordingly place your files all right so what is the use of fixtures folder so what are fixtures? Fixtures are basically used as external pieces of static data that can be used by our test. It can be regular transaction data or a document or an image. So we are going to position our test data inside this fixtures folder. And we will typically use this data with the help of cy.fixture command. Next is integration. In this folder, you would create your test files. It provides you with some sample tests in the example folder when you install Cypress. We would often create subfolders per page or feature or even by group of tests. Test files may be written using JavaScript, JSX, Coffee, and closure script. Next one is plugin. The plugin folder contains custom plugins to run in a node server. By default, Cypress will automatically include plugin files, which is this index, before every single spec file it runs. It is purely as a convenience mechanism, so you don't have to import this file in every single one of your spec files. We are going to work on this when we start uploading files using Cypress or we may need to work on elements using XPath. Support file. The support file is a great place to put reusable behavior such as custom commands or global overrides that you want applied and available to all of your spec file okay so let's understand three important things before we move on execution window dot post message and web pack so basically whenever we start the execution in cypress cypress behind the scene starts bundling up thing and it does some Preprocessing with the help of preprocessors. So, what is a preprocessor here? A preprocessor is the plugin responsible for preparing a support file or a test file for the browser. So, when the execution begins, Cypress preprocessor, which is Webpack, it starts bundling up things. So, it creates a bundle for the support file and one for each test file. A preprocessor could transpile your file from other languages, for example, CoffeeScript or ClojureScript, like these, 
or from a newer version of JavaScript. A preprocessor also typically watches the source files for changes, process them again, and then notifies Cypress to rerun the test. We said Cypress runs in the interactive mode. This is because of that preprocessor. By default, Cypress comes packaged with the Webpack preprocessor already installed. The Webpack preprocessor handles ES2015 and JSX via Babel, TypeScript, CoffeeScript, and it watches and cache files. So what is a Webpack? At its core, Webpack is a static module bundler for modern JavaScript applications. When Webpack processes your application, it internally builds a dependency graph, which maps every module your project needs and generates one or more modules. Let us see those. So for that, I'm going to run The developer's toolbar is already open. The test execution has started. I'm going to stop this. And let us open your spec. Here's the web pack. Let us expand example.cypress.io, then Cypress. And herein, you could see this is your support file which is bundled up like this and then these are all your test files okay now let's move to the element section and let us look at these two iframes so how are these iframes are able to interact with each other let's understand this concept as well because normally scripts on different pages are allowed to access each other if and only if the pages they originate from share the same protocol, port number and host, also known as same origin policy. Now, iframes are used to host somebody else's website. Okay. So now how then Cypress is able to ensure that these iframes are interacting with each other. So window.post message provide a controlled mechanism to securely circumvent this restriction if used properly. In Cypress, window to window or iframe to iframe or web application to extensive communications inside the browser are happening through this window.post method call. The window.post message method safely enables cross origin communication between windows object, example between a page and a pop-up that is spawned or between a page and an iframe embedded within it. Broadly, one window may obtain a reference to another and then dispatch a message event on it with target window dot post message. The receiving window is then free to handle this event as needed. The argument passed to window dot post message are exposed to the receiving window through the event object. So that's how this whole thing is working. So I hope you liked it. Thank you so much.